my name's Rich Felgate. I'm a independent documentary filmmaker. Why are you handcuffing me if you're just Whilst I was filming the gantry occupation, police arrived. They they pointed up to me and another press photographer also working on the on the bridge and said, kind of gave the order to d detain us. Several police came up and just instantly handcuffed us. No kind of question about what we were doing. We were quite clearly not part of the protest. There was a big physical gap between. And for me, they said they were searching me, even though they, they handcuffed me straight away and said, they were searching me um, to look for items to cause criminal damage. Obviously, they, they didn't find anything. So they kind of gave the order to just, I'm paraphrasing, but something along the lines of just arrest them for conspiracy instead then. It seemed like the intention was just to arrest us, think about why later. This is the second time I've been arrested in the last month or so, just for filming Just Stop Oil protests. There is a trend appearing that is, it keeps happening. I do feel concerned. I do feel worried. How, how far are they going to go? Every, every time I go out filming, I have to think, are they going to arrest me this time? Like, are they going to take my equipment? Are they going to try and seize my material? That's not how a free press should be should be operating. There's kind of a a level of of journalism which is just seen as unacceptable. That you, where I'm I'm following these protests on the ground and kind of telling the story of the people the people doing it why they're taking these actions um their personal story why they use these tactics journalism that that shines a light on that is similarly seen as as beyond the pale that's not that's not that's not acceptable it's perhaps too confrontational to the the status quo but you know that's what that's what journalism is that's what documentary filmmaking should be it's there to speak truth to power and shine a light on what's really going on compared to a lot of places in the world we have a lot of journalistic freedoms and are and are lucky that's that's why it's so people are so shocked when something like this does happen you know it's a reminder that these things they're not there just as a, as a given like they have to be protected we have to kind of fight for them and we're seeing we're seeing in real time this move towards authoritarianism with the new new policing bill what's being proposed for the new um public order bill there is still this level of where journalism can exceed what is allowed by by the establishment by the powerful you know if people come up to that threshold then they can can suffer the consequences governments see it as a way to they need to maintain their power within the context of the climate crisis so it's crushing down on protests crushing down on um dissent through journalism is is maybe just one way that that plays out hertfordshire police released the following statement we made a total of seven arrests in hertfordshire yesterday in connection with the protests three of those arrested have since been released with no further action two have been released on police bail with conditions